Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the Fourier series of period 2 pi for the given function f of x in the interval 0, 2 pi. And also we are going to deduce the sum of the given series. First, let's take the given function and we keep that in the expanded form. We have 1 by 12 into x. Then let's multiply these two terms. So pi into 2 pi is 2 pi square then minus pi x minus 2 pi x plus x square. Now let's combine these two like terms. So 1 by 12 into x. So 2 pi square minus 3 pi x plus x square. And again when I multiply this x inside 1 by 12 2 pi square x minus 3 pi x square plus x cube. Now f of x formula is a naught by 2 plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n x. Now the formula for a naught is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x dx. So this is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi 1 by 12 into 2 pi square x minus 3 pi x square plus x cube dx. Now we can take 1 by 12 common. So a naught is 1 by 12 pi. When we integrate 2 pi square x integration is x square by 2 minus 3 pi x square integration is x cube by 3 and x cube is x power 4 by 4 and we have to substitute the limit 0 to 2 pi. We can cancel these two and we can cancel these two. Now substituting the upper limit we get 1 by 12 pi. Already there is a pi square. When I put 2 pi square its square is 4 pi square. So 4 pi square into pi square is pi power 4 minus when I put 2 pi here, it is 8 pi cube. So minus 8 pi cube into pi, so pi power 4. Again, this is 2 power 4, 16 and uh, pi power 4 by 4. So this becomes 4. Now when I combine the numbers, 4 minus 8 and plus 4. 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 minus 8 is 0. So totally value of A naught is 0. Now coming to AM. The formula is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x cos nx dx. So this is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x is 1 by 12 into 2 pi square x 2 pi square x minus 3 pi x square, let's check it again, minus 3 pi x square plus x cube into cos n x dx. Here we are going to follow Bernoulli's integration. Integral u v dx becomes u v1 minus u dash v2 plus u double dash v3 minus u triple dash v4 plus u fourth dash v5 minus dot dot dot. So from this, this entire part is u and cos nx is v. So I am going to substitute directly. Before that, in am we have 1 by 12 pi is a constant which can be kept outside. Now u so I have to take u as it is, that is 2 pi square x 
minus 3 pi x square plus x cube into v1. This integration is sin nx by n then minus u dash. So I am using this u itself to find its u dash. So this becomes 2 pi square x derivative is 1 and this is 2x already there is minus 3 pi so minus 6 pi x and this is 3x square and v2 is the integration of this this is already v1 now I need to write v2 which is minus cos nx by n square then plus this derivative that is u double dash already we wrote u dash sorry already we wrote u then u dash then u double dash that gives minus 6 pi plus 6x six and this integration is minus sin nx by n cube and the last term again this differentiation is only 6 and we have to keep a minus sign because by formula there is a minus sign so minus 6 into again this integration will be cos nx by n power 4 now close the bracket we have 0 to 2 pi so when I substitute 2 pi the upper limit the first term is having sin nx so sin 2n pi is 0 so straight away I can put 0 coming to the second term this is 2 pi square so 2 pi square when I put 2 pi here minus 12 pi square and this will be 2 pi whole square so 4 pi square and there is a 3 so plus 12 pi square and this becomes minus 1 by n square because cos 2n pi is 1 and there is a minus sign and third term is 0 because of sign term and the last term is minus 6 by n power 4 now coming to the lower limit open separate bracket first term is 0 because of sign second term we have minus 2 pi square alone because these two become 0 and cos 0 is 1 and there is a minus sign so minus 1 by n square third term is 0 because of sign and the last term is minus 6 by n power 4 and we have completed the upper limit and lower limit now finally a n is 1 by 12 pi these two gets cancelled and there is a minus sign so 2 pi square by n square minus 6 by n power 4 and again when I carry this minus here this become plus but again there is a minus sign so minus 2 pi square by n square and last term becomes plus 6 by n power 4 so here we have a positive term and a negative term everything gets cancelled so this becomes a n becomes 0 now coming to b n in the same way 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x sin nx dx so this is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi when I use f of x I have to take 1 by 12 and that 1 by 12 can be taken outside so 2 pi square x I keep 1 by 12 here so 2 pi square x minus 3 pi actually the first term is 2 pi square x then minus 3 pi x square the last term is x cube just cross check once again yes 2 pi square x 2 pi square x minus 3 pi x square plus x cube and we have sin nx dx now again using Bernoulli's formula this is u this is v so by formula let's keep 
1 by 25 you have to write u v1 so u we have to write as it is then v1 its integration so minus cos mx by n then minus u dash so already we have written u here straight away I am going to differentiate this so this differentiation is 2 pi square minus 6 pi x plus 3 x square and this integration because this is v1 now I write v2 so this integration is minus sin n x by n square again plus this differentiation is minus 6 pi plus 6 x and this integration is cos n x by n cube again minus this differentiation is 6 and this integration is sin n x by n power 4 and close the bracket and we have to use a limit 0 to 2 pi now coming to the limit substitution so b n is 1 by 12 pi when I put 2 pi here already there is 2 pi square so 4 pi cube minus this will become 2 pi square is 4 pi square but already there is 3 pi so 12 pi cube and then 2 pi whole cube is 8 pi cube and this whole thing into cos 2 n by is 1 there is a minus sign so minus 1 by n second term no need to put because sign is there so it is 0 third term becomes minus 6 pi plus 12 pi because when I put 2 pi this becomes 12 pi and this becomes 1 so 1 pi n cube last term is 0 then coming to the lower limit minus open a separate bracket first term all the terms has x so it is 0 second term there is a sign so it is 0 third term this becomes 0 and we left with only minus 6 pi by n cube because cos n x is when, when you put x is 0 it is 1 and last term is 0 because of sine so if you know all the values you can complete the steps much faster so this is 1 by 12 pi and here 4 plus 8 is 12 and minus 12 so first term is 0 and the second term already there is a 0 and this becomes 6 pi so 6 pi by n cube and when I take this minus inside again that becomes 6 pi by n cube so combining the numerator because we have a common denominator which is n cube so we get 12 pi 6 pi plus 6 pi so we can cancel this so we left with 1 by n cube so coming to the formula f of x a naught is 0 so a naught by 2 which is 0 by 2 and uh, sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n that is also 0 cos n x and sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity and uh, b n which is 1 by n cube sin n x so totally f of x is sigma 1 equal to n equal to 1 to infinity sin n x by n cube thus we completed the first part of the question that is expanding the given function as a Fourier series now we have a second part where we have to find the sum of this series that is 1 by 1 cube minus 1 by 3 cube plus 1 by 5 cube so for this we are going to take x equal to pi by 2 so when I take x as pi by 2 this is f of pi by 2 equal to sigma n equal to 1 to infinity sin n pi by 2 by n cube and now let's find f of pi by 2 first that is substituting 
x as pi by 2 in the given function 1 by 12 into x into pi minus x so 1 by 12 into x which is pi by 2 into pi minus x pi minus pi by 2 and again the last term is 2 pi minus x so 2 pi minus pi by 2 so this is pi by 12 into 2 pi minus pi by 2 is pi by 2 2 pi minus pi by 2 after taking LCM 4 minus 1 3 so it is 3 pi by 2 you can cancel this so 4 to 8 8 to 16 16 to 32 so which is pi cube by 32 so coming to this f of pi by 2 is pi cube by 32 equal to when I expand this sin 1 pi by 2 by 1 cube plus sin 2 pi by 2 by 2 cube plus sin 3 pi by 2 by 3 cube plus sin 4 pi by 2 by 4 cube plus sin 5 pi by 2 by 5 cube plus dot dot dot. Now let's take the left right hand side. So sin pi by 2 is 1. So 1 by 1 cube. Sin after cancelling this sin pi is 0. So second term is 0. Sin 3 pi by 2 is minus 1. So minus 1 by 3 cube and sin 2 pi is 0 and sin 5 pi by 2 is again 1. So 1 by 5 cube. So dot 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 we have totally this is pi cube by 32. So again rewriting this 1 by 1 cube minus 1 by 3 cube plus 1 by 5 cube dot 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 is pi cube by 32. So let us check the series from the question which is 1 by 1 cube minus 1 by 3 cube plus 1 by 5 cube dot 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 and we got the value as pi cube by 32. Thus we got the second part of the question.